The project director of the Tejas Mark II program has confirmed that due to delays in the official grant to the program, the rollout of the Tejas Mark II program that was supposed to take place in December 2022 will now take place in December 2023. The Ministry of Defence and Indian Air Force has asked for more indigenous content to avoid any disturbance in the supply chain, and the four pre-production aircraft will have around 82% indigenous content, while the production-ready Tejas Mark II will have indigenous content of about 90%. The project director also said that the first flight will happen by end of 2024, and the aircraft will enter production by early 2029. Hindustan Aeronautics has conducted two successful test flights of a scale model of the high-altitude pseudo-satellite, that had a wingspan of 8 meters, and preparations are underway to build a full-scale model for additional flight testing, that will have a wingspan of 25 meters, and will be able to stay airborne for more than 90 days while cruising at an altitude of 65,000 feet. The RDO's Aeronautical Development Establishment and Hindustan Aeronautics have showcased a medium-altitude long-endurance UAV at Defence Expo 2022, that has completed design validation and has entered the fabrication stage. It will have two variants, one for reconnaissance surveillance and communications relay, and a combat variant with six hard points, and both variants will be powered by a 220 horsepower diesel engine designed by Vehicles Research and Development Establishment. Hindustan Aeronautics has released a purchase order to Bharat Dynamics Limited for the supply of six types of countermeasure dispense system LR use of Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. HAL has also signed an MOU with Larson and Tubro Limited for manufacturing 22 sets of wing assembly for Tejas Mark 1A. HAL has also signed an MOU with the Lakshmi Machine Works Limited to manufacture 40 sets of air intake assembly for Tejas Mark 1A. HAL has also signed an MOU with VEM Technologies to manufacture 20 sets of center fuselage assembly for Tejas Mark 1A. Hindustan Aeronautics has signed MOU with Israel Aerospace Industries for leasing operation and maintenance of fixed-wing UAVs to the Indian Defence Forces. Israel Aerospace Industries has also opened a new subsidiary in New Delhi to provide product life cycle support services for the air defence systems in India. HAL has also signed a memorandum of understanding with Midani Group for cooperation in the area of development and manufacturing of isothermal forgings for aero engine applications. The chairman of Solar Industries has said that the company will develop two high-mobility long-range precision rocket systems that includes a 130 km range rocket with 250 kg custom warhead and 250 km range rocket with 375 kg multipurpose warhead and the proposals have already been submitted to the government under Make2 category and they will have more than 75% indigenous contents. Both the systems will be GPS guided to precisely hit the targets with a circular error of probability of less than 10 meters. The CEO of Brahmos Aerospace has said that the metal cutting work for the 290 km range Brahmos NG will take place in October 2023 and will start developmental trials from 2024 onwards. The air-launched Brahmos NG variant will be the first to be developed, that will be compatible with all fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. The Indian Army is looking to procure 1,000 surveillance copter with accessories through emergency procurement under by Indian category, that must have at least 50% indigenous content, and a shelf life of at least 1,000 landings. The L1 lowest bidder will get an order for 600 units, while the L2 second lowest bidder will get an order for 400 units. The Indian Army has also issued tenders for the emergency procurement of 363 drones for logistics under by Indian category.
Oh, Mark, drop it.